Shout out to my Discord for this video. Snoopy in the Discord. You can join the Discord Discord in the description. It's completely free. They posted this prompt. I'm not going to pretend to know what the hell is going on in this prompt, but it is AI creating prompts for AI. There are two things inside the prompt. So there's the task, and I put keywords for SEO for classic menswear. And then there is the ponder at the bottom where I put classic menswear SEO keywords. And then when you press enter, it's going to start doing this. Okay, so it should come up with something like this. And I am going to read this and I'm going to tell you if this is good for my niche or not. So adopting the persona of a proficient idea generator with the ability to formulate relevant and unique ideas, I conceived the following alternative keyword sets pertinent to the topic classic menswear. Classic style, including timeless men's fashion, classic men's clothing, traditional men's attire, vintage men's style and retro menswear. Specific apparel, this idea focuses on um, things like men's classic blazer, traditional, traditional men's trousers, classic men's shirts, vintage shoes, retro men's suit, brand centric, so Ralph Lauren men's clothing, Brooke Brothers suits, etc. And then occasion based, things like men's business attire, men's formal wear, classic wedding suits for men, men's cocktail party attire, men's classic style. Transitioning into optimal research, where I'll now evaluate each blah, blah, blah. I actually didn't like this part of it, so what I decided to do instead was tell it to come up with 10 more ideas from the idea generator. And it came up with seasonal fashion, summer classic menswear, vintage, winter vintage menswear, 1920s classic menswear, 1960s men's style. Event specific, brand specific, geographic keywords, so Italian menswear, British vintage menswear, uh, material specific keywords, outfit specific keywords, fit specific keywords, and age specific keywords. I will tell you right now, okay, as someone who has now been involved in two different classic menswear websites and knows quite a lot about classic menswear, these 10 points are enough for you to create the entire outline of your website just from one prompt okay so these would become your categories and i really really think that before you start a website nowadays it would be so worth doing this okay there are other ways to do this you can find a competitor you can spy on your competitor all of the classic ways to do this but this is actually incredibly good content, and I'm going to show you why right now. So we're on Google Ads Keyword Planner, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a couple of these. I'm First of all, I'm going to check some that I don't know are good or not, just because I'm personally curious if they're good words or not. So this, for example, is not a great keyword, but if you get rid of the classic part of this and just put summer clothes men, this is obviously a much, much stronger keyword. So it has the right idea, but this is definitely too specific. Summer classic menswear, I knew that wouldn't be a particularly good keyword. However, something like this, I'm almost 100% sure that this is going to give some good results. Although, with again, with the word classic menswear, it might be too specific. So you'd have to change it to 1920s clothing men. This is going to have a lot of searches per month. As you can see, 1920s men's fashion has 40,000 monthly searches, okay? So, obviously, it doesn't give the perfect results, but if you individually research this, and ev overall, everything except uh, using ChatGPT+, Plus, I guess, has been free, but you could use ChatGPT 3.5 for free to do this. Some of these here are going to be insane, okay? I know that business formal is a very, very good keyword. I know this already. I have several articles on this topic. I'm curious. Business formal menswear has a decent amount of searches, but if you get rid of just put business formal men without the menswear, this is much bigger, as you can see. And then maybe business formal just on its own without anything else is obviously even bigger. I think it's really, really good the way that it's split everything up here. And I can vouch for the 
these results. They're all really, really good. So I have done most of these already, but this, what you can see on the screen now that this did in like five minutes took me literally weeks, if not months of research to understand the same concepts that you're seeing on the screen right now. Now I will say one thing, some things are definitely missing, but you can almost definitely go back to event specific keywords, for example, and say, give me 20 more event specific keywords and hit enter. And this will allow you to continue. So there's things like black tie, literally yeah, I wanted to say it before it wrote it. Black tie menswear was missing, cocktail party menswear, gala event, fashion week, job interview, date night. These are all all articles that if you go on iSuit, which is the website that I uh, predominantly write for or wrote for, write for, you can search pretty much any of these keywords and you will find them, okay? Because I did all of the manual keyword research spending an absolute crap ton of time. But this will just save you so much time. It's actually crazy. This right here is 20 of the best keywords in classic menswear. Okay, I already know that because I've already written most of these articles. This church article, for example, classic menswear for church, it has loads of searches per month. I'm going to show you this right now, actually. I'm going to show you in a way that you, you can't fake these results. Okay, I have no idea what happened to this article, but this is the church article that I wrote in August 2022. This was getting a lot of traffic, but I, I just saw that it had some formatting issues that I didn't even realize about. So I will have to fix those pretty swiftly. This is the last six months of iSuit organic traffic. You cannot fake these uh, numbers here. These are all completely real numbers. I'm gonna put the church article here and you can see that up to 1,500 impressions every day. So this is obviously a really, really big topic. Apparently people search it more on the weekend, which is kind of obvious if you think about it. And then all of these keywords are the kind of keywords you would pick up if you're writing an article about what to wear to a church as a man, okay? Let's do a few more. So business casual, black tie. Let's just do black tie. This is one of the best articles that I've ever seen performing. Let's just Google black tie tie for men because we should be here somewhere. There we go. This will blow people away, honestly. This just on has so much traffic, it's it's crazy. So it used to do a lot better. Um, it had some formatting issues, which I've since sorted. But I mean, at one point it, w it was getting 15,000 impressions a day. At one point it got, it looks like almost 200 clicks in one day on Search Console. And this is for a keyword that was picked out by ChatGPT. Okay, which is really, really crazy if you think about it. I know that all of these are winners, okay? So I know that this works because the results it gave me are very, very good for classic menswear. I'm just gonna do one more little thing. I'm gonna say, give me more, let's say, let's say outfit specific keywords. I wanna see if it comes up with some good ones. Give me 20 more. Okay, classic three-piece suit, that's a really good one. Traditional white dress shirt, that's one of the biggest keywords in classic menswear. Classic back, black tie outfit, we already did that. Uh, pocket square folds, wingtip shoes, leather loafers, peacock outfits, classic menswear sweater styles. These are all really, really good ideas as well. These would all do very well on Google. These all have a lot of searches per month. For me, this is one of the best prompts, even though I do not understand what the hell the prompt is, is saying. It's one of the best prompts I have ever seen in terms of SEO keyword research. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps and I hope this gives you some ideas if you are starting a new website or if you're just looking for new ideas to write for your website. Peace out.